Hi, my name's Trevor Burrell and I'm Chief Engineer. So as you can see, um, we try to replicate things like steering position and orientation from the left hand side of the car to the right hand side of the car. Pedal positioning across the footwell is very important to us. We also retool a lot of components like you can see around the air register there, the switches that control four wheel drive and two wheel drive, headlamp switches and all of the surrounds around that area are retooled. This is a unique tow bar that's been developed for Silverado 1500. It's capable of up to 4.5 tonne. The regulations for tow bars in Australia and the US are different, and that's the reason why we've developed the unique tow bar for our uh, region. And we've developed this installation aid for manufacturing to be able to install these tow bars on the trucks in production. We're now here in our structures lab. This is where we test structural components. Right now we've got a steering rack for the Silverado 1500 sitting on the rig. For our steering systems, there's two paths for loads to travel, either from the steering wheel down the intermediate shaft through the pinion and through the steering system out to the wheels, or back the other way from the road through the wheels, through the tie rod ends into the steering system and back up again. So what we're doing as the first port of call here is testing the loads running from the steering wheel back down through the steering system. As you can see down there, there's a rotary load actuator that puts loads into the steering system left and right for millions of cycles with varying loads. Those loads will increase um, as we go along. So this gives us the opportunity to test the physical component to, to end of life and make sure that the component will be durable and, and last right to the end of its, of its life. This is our seat belt and seat anchorage test rig. The purpose for this machine is to produce all of the reports that we require to hand in to the government for our certification. The government sets out a bunch of design regulations that say that you're allowed to have a certain amount of displacement as you apply a load to an anchorage point on a chassis. That report then gets submitted to the government and forms part of our ADR submission.